all right, here's a little tip that I get a lot of questions on. And it took me this long to find someone who knew what it did. And it is in the manual, but you've really got to dig for it. So it is the little lock that is here at the top of the track list when you are in your MIDI editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the classroom. And you guys can see I have that little lock right there. And if you are wondering what this does, you click it on and off and it's like it's not doing anything. If I click it on and off, if I, even if I click it on, I can still select tracks. So what on earth does this thing actually lock? Well, here you go. I'm going to turn this off, the little lock off. I'm going to click on the MIDI drum track here. So now, as I click on these tracks, you can see it updates. But if I click on the little lock, it locks this view in place. You can even click on the events. And the view here stays locked until you unlock the view. There it is unlocked. And there it is locked. This also works for the drum view and the piano roll. So let's go ahead and see. There we go. Well, let's see. Only the drums has that view right there. So let's, let's go to the piano roll. There we go. Here's the piano roll. You can see it's updating. And if I click on this one and I click on the lock, you can see the view stays static. It drops down for different positions, but you are still looking at the drum track no matter what event you click on up here. It's uh, quite a cool option, especially if you're looking to edit tracks as compared to other tracks when using the score view. Go ahead and you choose the score view that you want to view and compare other tracks to. You can select it. Let's actually do it with the high strings this time. And we'll click the little lock. And now I can edit away here in the event view on anything I want, keeping this in focus so that I can work. So there you go. Mystery solved. My uh, big thanks to uh, the folks in the expert chat over there on Sphere, one in particular for helping me clear this out. And this is awesome. So hopefully you found this helpful and I will see you all in the next video.